40 year age gap, I'm not a gold digger. Real estate developer here in Charlotte is my girlfriend Willow. This is our crib. I mean, he earned it. That's what he wants and that's what he earned. And also he 100% eats pussy for like three hours straight. And at least he looks pretty good. Like lose the gut if you can, bro. But like other than that, like you don't, he looks, he looks good. And I mean, this is what you get. You work real hard as a man. You get rejected for a long time. You go sexless your entire like 20s and 30s. But then you hit fucking 50 and you fucking this bitch. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. We met online on a dating site and we have been together today three months <laughs> happy anniversary baby thank you oh he gives us old man kisses what i don't know what it is about old guys they all kiss the same it's just like this weird like half kiss like they don't have like the dexterity left in their lips well i'm traumatized obviously he still thinks it's too good to be true and i'm like i'm just i'm just here existing i figure out how much of my closet I'm giving up? Most likely a bunch. This is gonna be mine, and this is gonna be mine, and this is gonna be his. And he's fine with that. All he's looking at is when she did the little turn, and then the other little turn. This is gonna be mine. She did that, and he said, uh-huh. And then she did, and this is gonna be she mine. did that, and, and he said, yes, ma'am. And then she did and that, and he says, most definitely. <laughs> I did the same shit when I was like her age dating these kind of guys. I would I would like wear pearls and like I tried not to look so young next to them because it looks weird after a certain point. <laughs> She's so fucking hot. Like fuck this bitch. Why is she get to be this hot? How am I gonna start a game company off my ass when their bitch is out here looking like that? I bet she got OnlyFans now. I was a little concerned about her age. Because I was like, you're really young. You don't have a baby face. I just feel like, here's the thing. The reason this doesn't quite work, there's like a lot of reasons. And it's not because of like money or like whatever. But I just feel like the guy, no matter, he has a lot of money and whatever. But like, he looks one way, she looks this way. And I feel like the struggle is really that he will never fully believe to a point. But he will never fully believe she wants him the way he wants her. I just feel like at the end of the day, they might be having fun. And they might be like getting a fucker and all that. But like, the angst will set in on his end and then on her end there's just all of the pressure of like well her friends are doing this but then they're like oh yeah you're dating that like grandpa like you know and it just like gets awkward and then you go out places and you get like death stares from karens everywhere and you know it wears on you you guys are so simple every time you see a girl like oh she has daddy issues like i did the same shit and it wasn't because of daddy issues okay it was because i wanted stability from there it's been constant constant non-stop okay well she has daddy issues what does he have that's what i want to know what do you think he has because i'm pretty sure all you guys just think he has a dick and that's the only issue he has is having a dick in this situation he doesn't need to have any issues to want to bang her but she's got to have issues to want to bang him L like hello for the last <clears throat> 90 days this is her favorite place oh, she keeps twirling that. no he does not he acts like a 15 year old boy well, that's all men. None of y'all motherfuckers ever grow up. I mean, that's just how it is. Even the real manly daddy dom ones, you fucking child. Okay, but like, why can't hot young women want an old guy? Like I told you, they eat pussy for three hours straight. Maybe she comes real hard for to get her pussy ate. You don't know. Like, I just think that's fucked up to always be judging the, the hot, pretty young girl. If you were him, you would hope this hot, pretty young girl would want to suck your dick. Like, shit, be thankful. Fucking judgy ass motherfuckers. It'd be 12 energy shots. I do. For real? Yeah, I do. To keep up. Life literally is not fast enough for me. We've been to the Bahamas like three times, and Punakana, and Las Vegas. Twice. And Greenbrier. Greenbrier in West Virginia. I will say that was a thing. Yeah, sometimes you date the older guys and, and life just suddenly gets so much more fun because you're just going more places and you're doing more things and money is just not a concern. Even if it, it's not like he's like necessarily like paying you, right? But like your life is just so much more like interesting, like instantly. The second you start dating like an older guy because he wants to take you here, he wants to take you there, he's going to show you off here. There's this fucking expensive ass restaurant. We want to try that. Baby, it's time to dress up. You need a new dress. Like this shit is fun it's just not typically gonna be you know it's not going it's not gonna last 10 years it is fun some of the most fun i ever had was the older guys so i'm not knocking it at all i definitely don't think you need daddy issues to want to have fun this was my life before i started stripping and stuff this is exactly what i did i went on cruises to all the places 
friends and uh, stayed at expensive things and then traveled to different places and went to nice restaurants and like wore expensive jewelry and like I was 18 and I literally come from fucking thinking Olive Garden is fancy to just like a whole new world and it was fun and then it's like you go from that to like oh I met this guy and he works at the paintball shop and he's 20 and he sticks his dick in and it's just like and then it's over like that's not fun and he's broke and he smokes a lot of weed and like we don't do anything except this like jackhammer fuck and he like doesn't really go down and he doesn't take me anywhere and if we do go anywhere we look like bums because we're broke and we're just going to the movies versus this this is more fun for a, a young hot girl this is a more fun life it took me to see the backstreet boys backstreet wait they're riding economy He's not even that rich. Damn. This motherfucker got game because he's not even that rich. That is not a private jet. I will tell you that. They're literally in economy. Why the fuck are you in economy? Like, I will buy economy. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a bougie ass bitch, but I know what life is like with actual rich dudes, and it's not that. The Backstreet Boys. Backstreet. I'm just surprised she knows what the Backstreet Boys are. We're like, what? Is it just me? Growing up, I was like three, four, five, like listening to the Backstreet Boys, and I wasn't old enough to go to a yeah. concert. In public, people never really say anything at all. But I on social media, that. people like to call me a gold digger. Some people say I'm just a cool. sugar daddy. But oh, you're so cute your with your dad. And um, oh, it's nice mom. you went to uh, Vegas with your grandpa. Oh. What you're doing is sick. I mean, she's trying on shoes, so yeah, he ain't that frugal. <laughs> A uh, 23 year old girl could still be smart enough to talk a dude out of a prenup. You literally don't have to be that smart to talk a dude out of a prenup. You know what you have to do? What do you mean, daddy? We'll be together forever. We don't even need that. Well, like, what is a prenup? So it means that I don't, that you don't love me? That's what it means? I don't, I don't love it. What do you mean? Did they link to the original video? I don't even know if I care about their... I'm 2362. This is 23-year-old Willow. Yeah, I'd rather watch this, not their version of it. Oh, they just did highlights from the thing. I I'm gonna have to re-watch this just because... First of all, I don't always agree with, like, their takes because they already have it, like, exclamation mark. I mean, I'm not a gold digger. And, like, honestly, he's not even that rich and that girl could date a much richer guy. So I actually don't think she's a gold digger. I really don't think that guy is that rich. Judging from, like, the apartment, the plane, you know, he's definitely divorced. So that bitch took half of his shit to begin with. I do think she likes him. And she fell in love with... 62 year old David. I mean, he's good yeah, looking for a 62. Tinder. Shout out to Tinder. We'll take sponsorships. It's safe to say that their first date was a success after they became boyfriend and girlfriend within an hour. I wake up every morning. And I mean, yeah, this motherfucker is just enchanted. He meets this, this, this walks in and she's like being nice. And he's just like, uh, uh huh. Whatever you want. Yes. You want to, you want to go where? Yes, we're going. You want what? Yes. <laughs> he's like, do I have a model in my bed? And I'm like, it's 6 a.m. <laughs> Getting ready to go to our anniversary dinner. I mean, he looks pretty cool. Wait, wait uh, he's got, he got, at least he got a style, like, sure. Their 40 year age oh, gap that dress has is attracted cute. some online criticism. People like to call me a gold digger. Some people say I'm just a sugar daddy. Honestly, what do y'all think? I'm gonna be dead honest. Who's them? Why would you be this old lady going on this show? Like, you just look like a jealous bitch. That's all you look like. You can't ask her. Like, ask the guy. Well, we already know what the guy's gonna say. He's gonna be like, I don't see nothing wrong with it, you know? <laughs> like, yo, story story time about my- This These were the Louboutins this motherfucker bought me. I had these. And I used to wear them at Lazard. And then when I got fucking fired for doing porn and going viral or whatever, I ain't even done porn yet, but wanting to- I got fired for wanting to do porn, basically. And I had these shoes, and I kept them in a drawer at my desk so that I because I walked to work in flats and then I would change to heels at work or change back to flats or whatever so I had these nice ass shoes my desk at Lazard okay well I got fired and they wouldn't let me come get my stuff they said I can't come back to the floor because I'd make too much of a ruckus I mean I'd make a commotion because I was like going viral on every fucking finance news outlet there was so I was like okay well I have all my stuff there and they're like okay we'll box it up so then I came and like got my stuff from like the front desk or whatever in the lobby and some bitch took my fucking shoes dude i lost my fucking nice ass christian the bouton shiny shoes they look just like that i miss them and then the second time i had some other pair of christian the boutons because i used to have three and then i had these big platform ones that i wore in a lot of porn pictures and stuff that i took and then i took those to a set for girls way and those bitches disappeared too 
So now I only got one pair of Louboutins left, and the pair I don't even like that much because they're too big. So that's my Christian Louboutin story. I need to get some of these little dresses that this bitch has. Like, where does she shop? Our penthouse here in Charlotte. NASCAR Hall of Fame right down here. Really? Mint Museum right there. Convention Center. I only have performance I, I won afternoon of the year there. Before you were there. born. <laughs> Perfect! Met online. Before on you were born, lol. <laughs> it is beautiful in this area of the country, though. The, the, it's reasonably close to me. It's it's like maybe like four or five hours from me or something. In sight, and we have been together today. Three months. <laughs> today. She also got a big mouth. I'm so jealous. You know, like Jesse from the dick from the dick thing wouldn't have a problem. You know, like I just I don't have a teeth. I don't have a mouth like that. You know, like look how big her smile is. Like I just it's not a teeth thing. My teeth aren't like crooked. I just got a small ass hole in my face. You know. This is her favorite place. Oh. I don't actually get gold digger vibes. She seems like a nice like this. They're saying this is North Carolina and they met on Tinder. So like. She has probably grown up pretty, like, um, uh, like, humble or whatever. I, I, I don't know if she, like, is necessarily into the age thing, but she's just really into, like, how he treats her and just, like, the fun and the newness of it all. It's all very exciting compared to, like, what her options are, you know? Because I feel like if she was actually a gold digger, she could go richer, and she's not. It took me to see the Backstreet Boys. Backstreet. Dude, this reminds me of my first sugar daddy so much. He took me to see Nickelback. <laughs> this is literally, I'm like, like, really. And like, and my first sugar daddy when I was 18, like, he was a lot like this guy. He wore all this fucking shit on his fucking arms and like, uh, he wore jewelry all the time and he like, you know, dressed like, you know, more modern or hip or whatever. And his hair was always done and he looked pretty good for his age. He was 50, not 62. People never really say anything at all. But on social they don't media, need to. People like to call me a gold digger. Some people say I'm just a cool. sugar daddy. But, oh, you're oh, so cute your with your dad. And oh, oh it's it nice you went to a Vegas with your grandpa. Oh. And, what you're doing is sick. I'm not allowed to read comments. It's not sick. I take you're stuff like, personally, so I'm like, uh, look at this person being mean. To yeah, like what? That's It's never going to stop, and that's why it won't work. Everyone facing judgment from haters. The haters. And that's Bye. For now. I was influenced a lot by Rihanna in my teen years, so I have a f it mentality. Okay, that was kind of cringe. I was influenced by Rihanna at growing up, so now that's why I say fuck it. Whatever you say, honey. Just do the twirl again, baby. <laughs> it has been really, really supportive of our whole relationship. And her mother's like, I'm convinced y'all knew each other in a prior life. Mm -hmm. I said, really? She goes, I'm, I've never seen my daughter smile and be this happy. I tell all my friends it's way, I see, don't, I said, do not give me any crap. Hey, Jim, honey, how, are you, how are you? I mean, I believe that they have like a thing. It's quite special. It's not like a 10 year thing. That's all I'm saying. I'm not judging at all. I have power to them. Eventually, like the insecurities will start to like, okay, like right now the hot girl, excitement, fun, honeymoon phase is here. But then like over time, like that goes down no matter like how hot she is and whatever. And then other insecurities start coming out and like it just, all the stuff start, just starts to just sort of like, like, you know, like fight. Yeah, you can see, I'm great. You look beautiful as always. Thank you. Thank you. We're celebrating the big three months. That's good. It has been three months now, hasn't it? Three months Cheers of good. Months. Three months oh, of Oh God. Something. There you go. <laughs> you remember our trip to Puna? Brought my beautiful model, my little willow, and uh, you know, I was a little- My beautiful model. Those words right there, he says, I brought my beautiful model. It, it tells you all you need to know about like what he values the most from her. And that's fine. It, and, and that's why I, I take so much issue when people are just like, oh, well, she's a gold digger. It's just like, well, listen to what he just said. Like, what is he? And you just be like, well, he's a man. Cause obviously he likes how she looks and that's what he likes the most. Like I get that. Cause she's being penalized for essentially the same thing that he's doing. And I, that's the part I find that to be like, Totally fucked. A little nervous bringing her out, you know, bringing her over to meet y'all. Honestly, what y'all think? I mean, there's a big age difference, but who cares nowadays? You know, if you guys love each other and you're happy together, then go for it. I'm gonna be dead honest. When I saw her with you, I thought, she's way too pretty for you. How did you man? <laughs> Fair. You're just as sweet then as 
as you are now. So no, I mean you are okay. All right. Genuine. They made it seem like she was gonna be a Karen, but she's she's not being. But like then again, you're like on TV, so yeah, you're not gonna be an ass person. And you seem so, very compatible. This has been an amazing. Night. We have a lot in common. I'm born February 2nd, she's February 3rd, and her favorite number is like 23, yeah, and so I'm the second, she's the third, so there's a lot of, and we constantly see two, three everywhere. It's crazy. I mean, okay, but you were like 39 when she was born. Just let that sink in. If I were gonna come to the wedding, right? If that were to happen, where would it be? Y'all wanna do it here or We're gonna get a private jet and take everyone to Italy. You already told me that. Oh, yeah, see, I guess he could charter a private jet. I don't know, the way she said that was a little, uh... I don't think she knows how expensive private jets are. Not to buy the one, but you charter it or whatever. That shit is expensive to Italy? Bitch, it's 30k to go from, like, Texas to Georgia on a private jet. Don't think he's chartering a private jet to Italy, honey. I don't think it's happening. We want a dog. And I don't this know is... if I want a dog or like an ocelot or something. I don't know. What's an ocelot? <laughs> Just trust me. I'm getting a little bit of the vibes. She definitely likes the money because ocelots are also very fucking expensive. Yeah, they go from like three to three to 15K. She's in love with them probably, but I think it's more of like, she's in love with maybe like more of like the experience, including the sex is probably actually good to be honest. I've definitely dated older men before. They've learned already and you don't have to babysit them. They're courteous. You know, I take care of a lady, they open the car door, pull the chair out, stand up when you get to the table, true. and it's nice. It is true. Our anniversary dinner. This Have is a true. Anniversary gift. This is true. I will say older men act more like men. I love you. You always take me such fun places. I love you. You always take me to such fun places. Like, I'm just calling it. Like, it is what it is. This was literally me. Except I was probably funnier. And less hot. And I was younger <laughs> than her. She's 23. That's when I went to porn. Another present. Has it been the best 90 days ever? Yeah, it has actually. Another present? Not another one. Oh, no. I love you. I love you. Thanks. I super super love you. Necklace. Yeah, look at that. Diamonds on her ghost. I treat her like a queen. I pull her chair out. I stand up when she stands up. I mean, it shit. I want to fuck this guy now. <laughs> like, <laughs> kidding. <laughs> You guys better think I'm so hot when I get way more fit. This shit hurts, dude. It's not as easy as it was when I was 23. The girl that changed my life. It's the most beautiful girl that I'm never gonna let down. It's been the rest of my life. And she's like, yeah, and that's only like seven years. I'll still be 30 and you're, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> oh God. She makes me happy, so what am I gonna do? Love me. Love you. Feed you. Take care of you. There's no need to lie to themselves or others. She's obviously with him for his money and lifestyle. Well, yeah, lifestyle is a big keyword there. And he's with her because of her gorgeous looks. They wouldn't have a relationship if he was poor and she was ugly. Yeah, pretty much. Honestly, seems like a win-win. She gets the lifestyle she wants. He gets the girl he wants. Both get a companion. Congrats, though. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. Yeah, people get anyone who believes her that it's not about the money. It's just ridiculously naive. I mean, that's just like a, a reductionist approach. It's not just about the money. If he was just rich, it wouldn't work either. You know, because like... There's a lot of like rich guys that are fucking weird and like a, like a lot of old rich guys that are fucking very weird and would not act like that like he does. The fact that she reaffirmed him multiple times that she loves him right after receiving a fancy trip or gift from him. That's part of what's making it exciting is that, you know, it's just it's more fun to get presents. Girls like presents. Obviously. The biggest takeaway for me is is literally just because at a certain point, the out the external pressures coupled with the fact that you realize over time like how like you guys just don't fit into each other's lives. She, she's going to grow as a person from being 23. She's going to probably want kids or something. He's already 62. She's not going to have kids with him, you know? So then at one time, at one point, she's going to think about a family or she's going to like go to the gym and see some like guy look super hot to her and just be like, oh yeah, I remember like, you know, like, it's just it's just not gonna last it's just not you guys don't ever just want escorts or whatever they want like a real woman they want the fantasy of her actually wanting him so that's why the sugar babies do way better than the escort situation because escorts it's like they don't really sell it that you're to like that it's you know any more than it is like they might give you a real good time for three or four hours but you know you're my sugar baby huh